The Emmys took place last night, so of course we have to talk about the fashion, who dazzled on the red carpet, and who bombed. That's right. Here to discuss his <laughs> top picks for the best and worst dress of the night is our favorite friend of the show, celebrity stylist and designer, Philip Block. Welcome, Phil. Well, well Phil there's Block. a lot to talk there's about today. Own. So let's just get sure. into let's it. Go. This is going to be fun. Go. What do you want to know? All right. Well, Claire Danes obviously walked away with the big prize last night, but was she a fashion winner or loser? Well, with her faux bob. Her faux bob. Her faux yeah. bob. Everybody mm -hmm. on the blogs has been talking about her faux bob, which yeah. means she wasn't a real bob. They kind of twisted it under Tucked and clipped. it under. Mm -hmm. I thought this Armani Privé dress was spectacular. Mm -hmm. Some boobage issues. Mm -hmm. Definitely some boobage issues there, but what? I thought it was perfect. The missing? Be, well, because there's a lot of them there. <laughs> you see uh, a lot of them. Too much. Oh. And that's the thing some people I heard talking about. Was it? Was she revealing too much? I think it was beautifully done. It's a la Gwyneth Paltrow. Mm -hmm. I think it's very respectful. I just would have liked to have lifted the dress up about an inch. Just, I, just a little The whole bit. thing just a li inch up more, a little more modest. But other than that. Gorgeous. gorgeous. Winner, best dress of the night, I really? think. Really? For me, I, I thought it was one of the most beautiful dresses. Princess dress. All right. I love the a way. good princess like, best dress. dress. Yeah. I like that. I like All right. That. So what did you think of Heidi Klum? She went to a little risky here on this one, Yeah, you think? she was doing some dominatrix uh, <laughs> in this, uh, Versace. You like that, yeah, I see. I did I actually see. love the dress. The dude. men like this dress. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. What did you think of that collar, though, Philip Block? That high neck. I mean, it is a bit of a fashion risk. Uh, you know, she can get away with it. Who else was going to wear that dress and get away with That's it, really? True. Only maybe Padma Lakshmi, mm -hmm. or you know. I mean, you needed to be tall and statuesque to carry off that vixen kind of oh, Versace that. look. It definitely pulls off, you know, her making look long and lean. It really Absolutely. Shows this outfit, right? That's a tough outfit to wear. You need a long neck. You need a long neck, right. and, you, and the color. I thought the color was rich. We've seen a lot of reds for fall, so mm -hmm. this was the deepest of the reds. Mm. Another popular color of the evening, blue. Absolutely. Everybody was in blue. Tina Fey, what'd you oh, make well, a you know, I, I'm doing an homage to Tina. Got my oh, blue shoes on there. Whoa, yeah. can you see? Yeah. <laughs> so did she Tina looks Fey, amazing. She looks amazing. She became Sophia Vergara. She mm -hmm. sure did. Look I at mean, that. Look at that. Very look nice. at that. Where'd that body come Where, from, that's Tina? That's the sexiest dress I've seen her in in a long time. I've seen Tina in person many times, and she hides this sexy bombshell mm. thing very well, but she brought it out last night. She was adjusting the girls a little, but, you know, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. she and looked this is amazing. Mercy. So Rodriguez. Absolutely. And beautiful fit. There's my blue homage. Blue. To her. <laughs> I had to Back She looks Tina, so good. It's not about you, it's about Tina Fey right, right now. My homage was for her. Okay. Because she looks so good in that blue dress. We are ever we are gonna forever remember her in that dress. Okay. I, I do think that she and Sophia Vergara have kind of traded oh, places. Speaking now. of Sophia, she's up next. I there you she go. She had on another bright color and looked amazing. This is Shannon's favorite wow. dress of the evening. Isn't yes. it great? I, I just Best thought, dress. again, she Oh she, wait, wait. She run, run that back again. What was that? Little, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. She wears that mermaid dress better than anybody else, except Tina Fey now. I hate uh -oh. that she's always so covered up and so demure, <laughs> don't you? Yeah, she's kind of shy, you know. But I've worked with Sophia years ago. I remember when she came to L.A. and she could barely speak English, which doesn't change much, and she thought she'd never work. And, you know, she's a mature woman. She's not a kid out there on the streets, but she works it for everything. And how oh, amazing does she look? She is working it. Now, you said Claire might have had too much cleavage out. Did she have too much out? Sophia? <laughs> They're just positioned right. <laughs> okay. Right, right. That's a big... And now, the other thing I was questioning, I'm seeing this picture. She had, I know, I is love it, this. You want to talk about, about yes. Sophia's cleavage? Well, no, she had $7 million of jewelry on, but it didn't look like she had a lot. The so earrings, those little pieces those were earrings. very You know, yeah, the earrings really go. It mm -hmm. depends the size of the stone, mm -hmm. and it depends on what they're set around. And it, it usually is the size and cut of the stone. Wow. You can't always tell. Now, Philip, she always rocks a mermaid silhouette. Is that getting old for you, or do you think uh, it, if it works? Well, it's me yawning a little. Uh, yawning? You know, I mean, I, but why, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Exactly. But you know what? J-Lo kind of does the same thing, but it always looks different. Mm. I think Sophia needs to explore other possibilities. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, let's talk about Jessica Lange and Escada. What'd you make of her look? I thought this was stunning. How great. And she's like 60 something mm -hmm. years old. She's she a, she's looks a mature woman. beautiful. This Escada dress, absolutely modern, young, elegant. This is the way women of her age 
should dress. Look, and you're still showing a lot of flesh. Mm -hmm. and But very forgiving of some areas that might be difficult to pull off after I a just, certain age. I mm -hmm. love this dress. I just thought this was beautiful. And I think someone of any age, you could put this on a 20-year-old and it would look great, and you could put it on a 70-year-old and it would look well. She, yeah, she looks amazing. Absolutely. You know, and just, it gives the hint of sexiness without being slutty. Too revealing. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. very important. Jane Fonda actually wore something similar. Very similar. Mm -hmm. They remind me of each other. I wanted to see if Jane was going to be there ne last night, but I think next year. Okay. Mm. She's going to get nominated next year. Okay, for Newsroom. Mm -hmm. She's right. brilliant. You heard it. it here first. Right. Yeah, yeah, mark my words. Now, there was a certain Food Network host that was on the red carpet, but she didn't look like she was a Food Network host. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stirring up a little fire in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. She was stirring up white hot. <laughs> white, white hot. hot. Yes, yes. Oh, okay. I, I, thought, I thought Padma just looked Extraordinary, Kaufman Franco, mm -hmm. one of our favorite new designers. And I thought this was wow. modern effort at elegance. Not a lot of jewelry, just a bold gold cuff. I could see you wearing something like oh, this. Oh, I love this look. I, that I, I knew nude, it. The nude illusion back, I thought, Absolutely. worked as well. Absolutely, and yeah. the illusion up at the neckline, so you're kind of, how is that staying up mm -hmm. there for the novices out there, the men in the audience that are going, yeah. how's that top staying up? Is it gonna <laughs> fall off? <laughs> they were hoping. Hoping, oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> hoping that that was an illusion and it was all gonna come down. I, I loved, I thought, Juliana Margulies, I thought her, and, and January Jones all had this minimal elegance that the young girls really related to. Okay, now let's talk about Kerry Washington. Okay. She yeah. lost yesterday. Yes, she did. was she a winner on the red carpet? I'm on the fence about this look. Actually, I'm not on the fence about this look. I do not like this <laughs> There dress. you go, girl. Come on, give it to I me. Did, I'm, I'm with you. I'm just going to say it. I'm you just going to say know, it. I know that's your girl over there. He's going to give a shade. <clears throat> Come yeah. on now. If you saw her in this dress, are you still... You all, is this, is you this? all some haters. Haters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you can't I'm not, turn your back look, on us, Oh, fine. Okay. Oh, come on. Join I'll turn back a little bit going on. It's a little too milkmaid. It's a little bright. Idol, and it's a lot of dress for a little girl. Yeah. There was something that was arts and crafty about it to me, too. It's like all those just appliques too just much. Didn't, I don't know. They didn't I know what she was going me. for, and I didn't need them up here at the bust, maybe just on the dress. Carrie is a very petite girl. Mm -hmm. She is she's very, tiny. very, very tiny, and she's so beautiful. It all happens up here. Mm -hmm. So when you see the dress from the from the bust line up, it's great, but with all that. Stuff going on, the crisscrossing ribbons, it's way, way, way too much. Mm -hmm. and, and it's not just about critiquing and saying someone looked ugly or they look fat or they look this. Mm -hmm. I really try and explain why so you understand that we're not hating on your girlfriend. I understand. Okay, well, I, understand. I was asking Lola, would that be something more appropriate for MoMA if she was wearing it there to do it more artsy, creative type of thing? Or is it just all I wrong? I just think you it's mean just the, too the much. Met Gala. The Met Gala. The Met Gala. Yeah. 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 I just think it's too much on her. I think she's too tiny. People Magazine just voted her the best dressed woman in the world. Right, the the world. entire world. I'm sure you voted on that yes, I did. several times. Right. That's why she won. <laughs> I'm sure it <laughs> like he kept voting. <laughs> and when you look at the pictures of her in all the dresses, you see dress, not carry. And, and the trick to being best dressed is they have to work together. Mm -hmm. You have to be one with your dress. Like, yeah. I think you're a great dresser because you work with Thank your dresses. You. Your dresses mm -hmm. don't overpower you. Thank you, Philip. But yeah. you didn't win last night either. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about someone, a couple actually, that some people are saying were the best dressed couple mm -hmm. of the night. Rose and Bobby, what did you think about them? You know, I thought you it was agree? hot. I, yeah. I thought it was hot. I didn't love her dress so much. What? I no. didn't go crazy that for Calvin it. That Calvin Klein dress was incredible and so on trend. You know, the, the peach, color, yeah, the going sliver, forward, the, the sliver, sliver of skin, just the hint of, yeah. I, I liked it. It just didn't wow me. I, I thought they looked like a great couple at a wedding. Oh. Really? You know, oh, see, I thought I very just, chic, very elegant, mm -hmm. but she didn't wow me on the red carpet. Whereas, like Jennifer Lawrence, when she came out in that Calvin Klein dress a couple of years ago, uh -huh. and everybody went. Wow. wow. Yeah. Right. That she was took the, the minimalist Baywatch red dress. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. She right. took a minimalist dress and everybody just that's all they paid attention to. Mm -hmm. You need a banging body mm. when you wear a minimalist dress. If you want to get attention on the red carpet. Now they made a great couple. Like I say, they made a great couple at a wedding, but Okay, so not, about, not, not yeah. enough zhuzh not for enough, you. Mm, so yeah. What about Bobby? Yeah. Most guys, they just put on another dark suit and go on it out. <laughs> well, Bobby's he's got the best accessory, her, so right. you know, he's, he's good. He looked great, he looked too. Really Bobby handsome. Cannibal. Exactly. He, he's a great actor. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a good friend of mine, a great actor. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. He just, looked, he just looked really handsome, and he knows how to pick a great woman. He, sure yeah. does. he <laughs> knows the girl makes the Very best true. accessory. So let's talk about the misses. Oh, my goodness. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. Oh he Lord. is ready to go in. Where shall we start? Oh. There were a lot. Let's start with Julie Bowen. You know, Zach Posen? 
I, I love or Zach. Nay. I love the dress. When I first saw it, I said, oh my God, this is so beautiful. And I love the ruffle at the bottom. But it's like an ice cream sundae. You see it, and it's got the whipped cream and the sprinkles mm -hmm. and the chocolate sauce and the caramel. Uh, and you're like, oh my God, whoa. this is so good. And after a little bit, you're like, I'm gonna throw up. Oh, wow. And this dress had that same effect on a lot of wow. people. Wow. So it was just, what is it, just too, too much? Too many things. Again, like Carrie's dress, almost too many things going on, like the little wings in the back and the draping in the front and the bow with the sleeve. And I just thought, what so could rich. have been edited to make <laughs> this work for you? Maybe the, all the thing on the sleeve. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. I think a lot of sleeve work there. I, I just, and a little bit of the detail in the front, mm -hmm. but the bottom I thought was you beautiful. You like the ruffles on the bottom? The I bottom. think the, isn't mm -hmm. it beautiful? The, the bottom color's is beautiful. pretty. Absolutely. I like her in more pronounced colors because she can Absolutely. be a little pale, so yes. I think mm. she can actually pull off but again, strong, rich color. She's going for that blush, the color of the mm -hmm. season. But she very... almost blended into the dress a little too much. Right. I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like, like January Jones yeah. blended right. in. But that's that minimalist thing. But that dress was a minimalist here. Uh, so that okay. was the problem. Well, let's go on to the bridesmaid, Zoe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Zoe Deschanel. Zoe Deschanel, what'd you think? She was in Jay Mendel. <laughs> Excuse me. It's okay. You, are you that disgusted over this outfit? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, she. I, I'm kind of tired of it. You know, she mm. just keeps doing this quirky, weird little thing, and it works on. But the boobs, what's going on at the boobs? And the dress looks so stiff. It doesn't look like she can walk in those shoes right? either. Right, and, and the, the, it's kind of pointy at the bust, mm. and it draws attention there, and the dress looks very stiff, and she looks like she's wobbling, and mm -hmm. the bow is asymmetric. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's just okay, but mm -hmm. I want more for her. I love her, I adore her, I think she's quirky and she has a fun fashion sense. This doesn't feel fun. Do you feel like it's fun? It didn't feel fun, but yeah. I didn't hate it. Is she? It didn't bother me. I thought it was simple and understated. It's but more her personality. You know, because she, you know, she'll show up in something that's a little way too crazy. So the mm. fact yeah. that she decided to Jump dial to. it back. <laughs> she dialed. Mm -hmm. She dialed it back. Was good. That worked for me. It and again, she's in a color towards towards spring. Mm -hmm. The light, light, light blue, very in towards spring. Mm -hmm. Keeps that in mind. Yes. Julian and Huff. Oh my gosh. We saw her knickers. <laughs> the girl was in a bathing suit. She looked like she fell in a pool, and then they pulled her out and they had seaweed on her dress. Oh, I mean, like, no. Beyonce called, she needs the bathing suit back to perform in. Oh, I mean, stop like, what it. is going on you're here? And it looks like it's going to fall off her. Philip Block, and, you're terrible. I mean, look at this. Look at this right there. That girl has a bathing suit on. Well, she's got great legs, so why hide them? Isn't this a formal event? Well, yes, that is indeed true. That is a bathing suit, correct? Well, it you is. are indeed correct about <laughs> I'm that. I'm just checking. Jenny okay. Packham, I'm disappointed. That's the designer. I love Jenny Packham. She does beautiful dresses. Mm -hmm. Kate Middleton put her on the map. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and Keisha Whitaker, I've dressed Keisha Whitaker, Forrest wife, many times in Jenny Packham. Mm. There are moments this dress looks beautiful until you Far realize away. that she is wearing a bathing suit, <laughs> not a dress. So further away, it looks a lot better. For the Hamptons pool party, mwah! All right. Okay. See you there, Julianne. <laughs> yeah. okay. And she usually hits the money. She's you know, she's yeah. she's she's a stylish, trendy, cool, edgy dresser. Okay, I liked so her makeup and hair, though. Yeah. I liked that it was beachy and really clean. Face. Beachy, yeah. Beachy. As in bathing suit. As right. in bathing suit. As in bathing. Is there ever a right moment for this outfit that Paula Abdul wore? <laughs> you know, I'm my <laughs> Christmas under the tree. My Paula, straight up now, baby. <laughs> you know. Goodness what can you gracious. Say? Thank you. What can you say? Oh, I mean, she's turning into a lollipop head. Oh, you know, I mean, the body yeah. is getting so, so little and it like wrapped in gold and she's like a little caramel Tootsie Pop. She with fur on the top. You did not call her a caramel Tootsie Pop. She's a caramel Tootsie Pop and I love her, she's delicious, but you know, I, I just really could live without Didn't the, work for you. You know, and she's just looking too skinny. When they get to be bobbleheads, Carrie's getting that problem to talk to your girlfriend. Cause the, the head's getting big, the body's getting small. Everybody wow. tries so hard to lose weight, but Sometimes it's a little too much. A little yeah. too much. Yeah, you know, you don't want bones. You don't want to be out of proportion yeah. with your body. Yeah, that's true. You want to eat a sandwich every now eat and then. Eat a sandwich, <laughs> even if you go into well, the This girl clearly has no problem eating sandwiches. Lena Dunham. All right, I knew we were going to get to this one. What? What? You hated. On a scale of uh, one to ten, how bad was this look? This girl is a beautiful disaster. Oh. You know when you go out and you have your first and your second and your third and your fourth and your fifth shot, and then you say, let's have one more shot, and then you stay out all night, and you know you shouldn't have? <laughs> That's what this is. Oh. <laughs> this is like... It's that wild, amazing, fun night you had, but you know you shouldn't have done it because it really wasn't good. Mm. And that's kind of what this is. She's kind of like a grown-up ladybug. Like a mm. six-year-old and her are the only two that could carry this out <laughs> outfit off. You are terrible. And the green eyeshadow right in the middle. She's crazy. It's fun. She's edgy. She's making fun of it. I think it's kind so of a laugh. So it wasn't so bad for you then? I, you know, when I first saw it, I hated it, and I was like, oh, worst dressed. 
And as, as it grew on me over the night, I was like, this is who she is. That's true. Um, and she's embracing the red carpet and all that jazz that she that clearly jazz. is not that girl. Mm -hmm. And she's like, well, I'm going to do it my way. And I give her credit for doing it her way. I think it fit. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of pale skin under there. Mm -hmm. But... And it's not the dress you might have chosen, but again, garden party dress, cute. Okay. okay. So you didn't choose that one, but what about Carrie Underwood's? Would you have chosen that one? I would have chosen that bride. Cabeza. Or a funeral. So, no. <laughs> again, now I love Ramona Caveza, but I mean, did she was she going for a plum effect? Was she trying to look like a plum, a prune, a know. bridesmaid? I didn't quite know what she was going for. Uh, I mean, you're Carrie Underwood. I want to see something dazzling and spectacular mm -hmm. and a little bit country, a little bit rock and roll, yeah, you yeah. know? I mean, glamorous. And all this was like, it was just kind of ill fitting and mm -hmm. it was big and it was way too much. She looked better when she performed, but that one on the red carpet was like a plum. Oh, mm. unfortunate. And okay. then they threw like a ribbon on it just to give oh, it an accent, which. Mm. All right, last but not least, Amanda Peet. Oh. Sail. <laughs> stay home. Sail or sink? Wow. Stay home. Really? <laughs> just stay home. There's no reason to be there. What was the, what, what, this, this high low thing, sheer, not sheer, like make a decision, folks. Do I want to wear a lace dress or do I want to wear a short dress? Or I want like make a decision. Make what, a decision. What's thinking? the red thing? Oh, what happened there? <laughs> that, that's her that's pop of color? Clutch. That's yeah. her pop of pop color. Yeah. You know, we can't, uh, we can't hate a girl for a pop of color, no, though, can, can we? No, you can't. So let's but end on a good note. What do you think of that dress? Uh, I, need to I wasn't a fan. Mm, thank no, you I wasn't very a fan. Much. There was a, too much going on. So you agree me. with me? I completely agree <laughs> there with you. There you go. Thank you But let's much. end on a positive note. So yes. who was the big winner of the evening for you? You know, I, I have to say, I, I really loved Claire. I really loved Claire. And I loved the three minimalists. Like I said, Padma, January Jones, and Juliana Margulies. Very, very, very chic. Julia Louise Dreyfus mm. looked very good too. Very elegant, a woman yeah. of a certain age. Christine Baranski, yes, very chic and elegant. Also, for uh, I think the more mature ladies stepped it up last night, and the young girls were just trying to. Well, it's not their first yeah. time at the rodeo, so they know what works for their body and what works on the red carpet. That's so. True. Absolutely. Yeah. And they did it well. And they did, and it, they well. did it well. As did you. Thank you. As Thank you very well. much. <laughs> ah, you now so we get much. to see them all at the Golden Globes yes. in January. Can't yeah. wait. And I we'll have know. you back for that as well. <laughs> oh, maybe before. <laughs> okay. Well, what did you think were the best and worst outfits of the evening? Tell us all about it at, at Arise TV 360.